So if your Dyson Turbo Head V10 vacuum looks anything like this one, then I'm gonna show you how to clean it, and this is a video for you. So a quick snapshot at our dirty, dirty Dyson head. Now first step is just gonna need a small coin. In Australia here, a 10 cent coin suffices pretty well. Uh, and you pretty much just detach it to make it easy to handle. And that 10 cent coin is gonna go into a slot on the end of the left side. Now as you can see, anti-clockwise is the direction to unlock it. A lefty loosey as they say. And it's pretty easy. Comes out pretty well, which unlocks it. You can pull that out nice and easily and that allows you to clean the rotating head itself and for us usually gets covered in hair and string and anything that's long and that tends to get caught there and reduces its efficiency in cleaning. Uh, the next step I'm doing here is I've just got a baby wipe and we're wiping off the really crusted on dirt and obviously this is the, the cleaning component of the Dyson head and so having this nice and clean of course is going to leave you with a better clean as well. Now not that this is a cleaning surface but dust does get trapped in here so while I've got it apart I'm giving it a quick wipe down. There's a few components to the Dyson and this is the I guess the axle or the attachment point where the rotating um, axle is and that gets encrusted with dirt really heavily so I'm just doing a quick wipe over here just getting some of the looser stuff off first and then we're going to attack the uh, rotating cylinder because it's, as you'll see in a moment, it is packed and it is packed thick. I'm amazed how much dust is actually in there when you see it. You're getting a bit of a glimpse of it here. It's just on the lower half of the screen there. So we're just getting a bit more excess dust and packed on dirt. You can really see how much gets packed in there. All right, so this is where we're attacking the, the worst of the encrusted dust. And it's quite thick and there's multiple layers here. Uh, and what I'm doing here is just gently picking it up with a, a wet wipe. Being quite gentle on this structure because I, I'm not sure how robust it is if I went in there with any harsh chemicals or anything because there is a fair bit of rubber. So I thought maybe a paddle pop stick, nice and gentle. I'm going quite light on it, but you can really see how much dirt and dust gets packed in there. And it being a rotating area, I can only see this reducing the efficiency of how fast the head can spin. And of course, it's it's just not good to have in there for the longevity of the device. So I'm just gently brushing it away and grabbing bits and pieces I can with my fingers. I suggest at home, um, just take your time with it. Don't go too harsh on this area. I definitely wouldn't be using a metal implement to, to draw away this, this dirt and dust. It's, it's probably one of those things that you could easily damage if you went in there with something sharp like a knife or a skewer. Even a screwdriver might be too harsh on this area. So something quite gentle. And if I had my time again, what I would probably would have done is actually use the a narrow nose attachment on the Dyson itself and I see how much of this I could suck out just as I loosen it off. Uh, that would probably have been a much more efficient way of doing it. Um, I got to use the, the Dyson as a, a clean-up device as you'll see in a moment but in hindsight I probably should have used it during this component too just to save on having to really tease this out as much as I could as well as just not having to bash it out like this. really big thick stubborn bits there and I'm amazed I did this 20-30 times and still more and more kept coming out and you can see all in that tightly packed space how much dust there was just living in there breeding all sorts of yuck uh, much better out than in I I'd, su I'd suggest this one yeah, more falling out again even more and sort of banging it left and right. I think I got most of it, and by the end of it, I was pretty sure I got all those all those big bits out. So here's my cleanup. Uh, obviously, you got a Dyson, you may as well use it, uh, but I probably should have used it through that process in hindsight. So this is pretty much where the elbow grease starts now. Um, there is a lot of really packed on stubborn dirt here. So I wiped off as much as I could using the, like the wipes themselves got into the like those really tight crevices with a paddle pop stick 
on the end of that and that worked really well for getting into those really hard to get spots that you can't get with your fingers. And you can see me using it here just behind some of those uh, I guess air diversion devices really helping with the suction and that was really helpful because there's no way you can get your finger in there to, to try and get yes, clean with the wipe. A nice fresh wipe once again that one was getting a little bit too dusty and packing in. And here I'm trying to get under that rotating cylinder. I'm sure there's a way you can dismantle that and someone in the comments is probably going to tell me I'm doing this all wrong. However, this was just a quick and easy way to do it. I just had about half an hour spare. Um, the kids are watching a movie. The wife was asleep. I thought, well, let's let's get into it um, and leave it all together and you know <laughs> take as much apart as I had to to get it done quickly, rather than try to dismantle the whole thing and have to rebuild it later. So there's a few really stubborn ones up this end. Um, as you can imagine, with all that dust in that end, there was just as many stains and dirty bits on that protective screen that's see-through, as well as on the, the front and back components. So it was quite hard to get into, and you can see here I had a, a really stubborn area that took quite a bit of effort to dislodge, but we got there eventually, and the old paddle pops uh, tricks really did the... the paddle pop stick trick really did the trick with that one. So time to put it all back together, and quite simple, and you can see you just slide it back on in and it should go together reasonably well. I probably wasn't patient enough with it here and tried to, to push it in, but you'll see in a moment when you find where it notches up, it's actually quite simple. And so I wasn't quite right there, and you'll see me have to just, no, nope, not going in, let's readjust, pull it out, put it back in, find that notch, and yep, there we go, just slot it right in and then just tighten it up going clockwise with the coin again and you're all done. So we've got a nice clean Dyson head ready to suck up heap of dirt again. I'm amazed by these machines. They're, they're resilient and they just do such a